goodness it's so few at the core, of, uh, in the shadows, in the centre, then you have to divide and rule the target population. And we allow it to happen so easily. I mean, I mean, look at the Middle East. I mean, we have people at war with each other over some arguments centuries ago over who should be the natural or, or, or the right replacement for Mohammed. I mean, are we children? Are we are we mature adults or are we are we children? And I'm sorry, in some cases, like what's happening in the Middle East, I apologize to, to, to children for using that analogy. But this is happening all over the place where people are played off against each other. And while we're divided and ruled, we will be one thing. We'll be ruled. It's in our hands. We have the numbers, but only if we come together. I don't care what your religion is. I don't care um, what your politics are. I care if you truly care about freedom for everybody. Then we've got a chance. D D David, when I raise this point, it's not for us to talk about how great we are. More and more I realize the fact that I've been so successful, you've been so successful, Ron Paul and others have been so successful, because I get the calls, I talk to folks on the street, I even talk to my detractors, they go, yeah, I don't like you, but you woke me up. Why have we been so successful at getting people to realize that the Federal Reserve's not federal? I mean, remember when it was so hard to just get people to realize that private banks control the Bank of England, that private banks ran the Federal Reserve, that there was a plan for a new world order. Now all that's admitted, uh, that, that there was a plan to put satellite tracker boxes and taxation boxes in all the cars. Now it's here. Uh, people now are listening to us and realizing they may not agree with our in-game analysis, but this is going on. But they say, well, what are we going to do anyways? Well, what are we going to do if the rest of it comes into fruition? Because we can see the globalists want to turn off the resources. The globalists want us sick and dead. The globalists believe they're going to merge with machines and become gods, which is what the elite have been told by the spider at the center, whatever that is. We're living in a science fiction horror movie, but simultaneously, there is the beauty of my children and, and, and playing with my dogs and sunsets and friends and honorableness. There's so much more good in the world it's a very delicate balance I'm trying to get at. Some people ignore the New World Order and say, I'm just going to live a great life. That's how I beat them. But then you allow their evil to grow. But if you just focus on their evil and fight it, you become so pessimistic uh, that then they defeat you because you're, you're, you're focused on them. That's almost like a form of worship. So where is the balance in that? Because I feel in my gut and I intellectually see we are entering the most incredible time in human development ever that will decide our fate, not just here, but on a trillion star systems, literally. This is a great test, and we're about to go into this zone. We've entered the edge of it, the jump point, the flash point, the critical mass point, and I just want to somehow, uh, I just constantly feel like I should be doing better as I enter this key point because it's just so humbling to be at this point and to see the understanding, my understanding, accelerating. The stuff I won't even get into on air, it's so incredible. You've talked about it, but I keep a lot of my own views private because they're just too incredible. I mean, we, uh, I just feel sorry for the people that serve the system now. I realize they as you've said, don't even know what's going on. General Petraeus doesn't even know. I, I mean, I'm beginning to understand it's so compartmentalized is what I'm getting at. Yeah, it's incredibly compartmentalized. And, and if it was not, it couldn't work because um, you have to keep people right up pr really close to the spider, really, in ignorance of the full magnitude of what's going on. Um, and, you know, if, if you concentrate only, and I'm not saying people shouldn't, I do this, we need to know this, but if you concentrate only on um, the level of, of banking scams and manipulated wars, you're still just walking around the outer rim of the rabbit hole, really. You've, you've only just started to enter it. It's so deep. And it's, it's understanding the nature of reality um, is fundamental to understanding what's actually going on. And because the the 
daily experience of people and the what they've been taught in the education system and by mainstream science is that you know this this world that they're living in is is real and it's somehow solid although quantum physics has proved of course that it can't be um uh, i mean you talk about atoms making up a solid world atoms had no solidity how can they it's an illusion and once you realize it's illusory once you realize it's information decoding information it's like the wireless internet and um you look around I, um, i've not got the wireless internet here but if i had you wouldn't be able to see it it's an information field within the unseen to the tiny tiny frequency range visible light that that, that we can actually see and experience it, it's ridiculous how narrow visible light is our visual uh world that we think is is, is we're basically every... blind yeah we are uh, in that sense um and so if you only focus on what you can see and you try to get your sense of reality and what's going on in the world only from that tiny sliver of frequency of, of, of information, of happenings, of events, you're never going to do it. That's right. Stay there. You know. Just stay, give us your take on how to break people out of the trance straight ahead with David Icke of DavidIcke.com. I'm Alex Jones. This hour brought to you by InfidelBodyArmor.com. When it hits the fan, don't be left without the body armor that will save your life. With prices starting at just $374.99 and ships free. Get yours at InfidelBodyArmor.com. Just won't quit. Hi, Ted Anderson with Midas Resources. Is it time to convert paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver yet? Get our 10 Reasons book free. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Hey, this is Steve Sanchez. Worried about the Wall Street Casino? Yeah, me too. Wondering when the stock market is going to collapse? You probably want answers, but you know you can't trust the global elite. Well, my good friend Brett Kitchen, best-selling author, has created a DVD set called The Millionaire Black Box. And for a limited time, you get free access. Call 1-800-259-3131. Find out how the global elite invests without having to deal with the global elite themselves. 1-800-259-3131. 1-800-259-3131. You've talked about it for a while. Now it's time to get your family the emergency readiness pack it deserves. And there's one site to turn to, TopPackGear.com. From large to small, you'll find kits for every purpose, and all of them can be customized by you. TopPackGear.com offers the best pre-built packs the Internet has to offer. Assembled using only high-quality products vetted by pros and chosen for the best balance of quality and value. Prepare, endure, prevail with TopPackGear.com. Attention all radio listeners. Survival Life is giving away free credit card knives exclusively to our radio listeners here today. Visit MyCreditCardKnife.com to see this covert knife in action and claim yours for free. It's the same knife you've seen in the airline magazines for $29.95, but today it's yours free. Just pay shipping and handling. MyCreditCardKnife.com, MyCreditCardKnife.com. Go now. How long would you last if all grocery stores cease to exist? Not in America. This can't happen in America. Because of my concern about our government, I was looking at survival stuff. I was raised as a Girl Scout, and their motto was to be prepared. Food for Patriots was an opportunity for me to be able to put some things aside. I said, well, this is a product worth having, seeing as it's so good. Like the pricing for what I got. I like the containers they were shipped in. They keep in touch with you. You get your emails. You get your confirmations. The customer service is just absolutely fantastic. Plan on buying probably about uh, four more of these minimum. And it just came so quick. It came right when they said it would come. Thanks for supplying all this stuff for us because I think we're all going to be needing it in a very short time. Join over 50,000 Americans who have trusted food for patriots. Go to GetSurvivalFood.com to learn more. That's GetSurvivalFood.com. We up go to Alaska. We up go to Alaska. No, to Alaska. Go north for Russia's own. No, to Alaska. Go north for Russia's own. I have a headline right here. Big Sam. Out of Seattle National Review. In the year of this is what an open border looks like. And you can just walk back and forth however you want. It's totally wide open. They've ordered a stand down. We've documented that. 
Meanwhile, they now have the Army and National Guard and State Guard at public events all over Texas, at marathons, at kite festivals. You show up and the Army... Now remember, you, you, you pull up in a green field. There isn't even an entrance at Silker Park. But they're there just searching people. And again, I'm not against the troops from Camp Mabry. The media will say, he's against troops. Is that the, the, that's the mind control. A suicide bomber would just go bomb the the checkpoint, and that just happened in Pakistan last week. But the whole issue is, is that the government's running and financing them with the airlift of evil, everything David was talking about. He's graciously said he'll stay with us 20 minutes into the next hour to get deeper into the rabbit hole, to talk about solutions, to talk about all the pedophile scandals that he first talked about, that you know, he said BBC is basically run by pedophiles. He worked there. Now it just keeps coming out. There's so many movies like Under the Skin that parallel what David Icke says is at the center of the of the spider web. And he hasn't seen it yet, but he said, oh, I want to talk about this. So, David, in this segment we've got left is five minutes. Talk about why, whether it's the X-Men or the Superman or all these movies now are like from our perspective admitting that there's false flag, uh, Captain America, Winter Soldier. Why are they doing this? Well... In the nature of reality and the way we interact with reality and the way that thought manifests as what we experience, I have this, this phrase, what we believe, we perceive, and what we perceive, we experience. What we, um, if you can program someone to believe something, then that will become their reality. And if you can get people to take it on collectively, that will become the collective um, reality. It's very much like the stage hypnotist who um, puts a belief system or a, a belief in reality, that's what they're doing, into the mind of the stooge on the stage, and then the stooge on the stage experiences that, whether it's someone naked in the audience that isn't, whether there's an elephant in the audience but there isn't, whatever. That downloaded belief manifests as their experienced reality. And, you know, I've been watching this for years now, Alex, you know, way, way back. And it's, it's, it's virtually a tidal wave in filming uh, terms of movies that are portraying one after the other the world that they want to create. The, the, the world that the, um, this, the new world order, as it, it, it's being called, is ultimately leading to. And what it's doing, it's downloading that, on one level, that belief. It's putting it in the subconscious. And that makes it much more likely to collectively manifest because... Um, of the what I'm talking about, what you believe you perceive, what you perceive you experience. And if we take on this, this subconscious belief, it doesn't have to be conscious. Um, in, in this unfolding Orwellian state, then we will collectively manifest that while thinking it's happening um, externally. And another level of it is it's making it familiar to us. It's making it, if you like, as it literally comes in, it, they're making it less of a, a shock. But what? What? And, and I'll tell you what is, is happening in terms of, you know, all this transhumanism stuff is that is that preparation is happening through things like Google Glass, where you, you um, are interacting with uh, the Internet through glasses, uh, glasses. That be, that's part of you. These things that people go around in their ears. That becomes getting you ready for the brain chips. Stay there back yeah. in 70 seconds with David Icke and what comes next. Stay with us. This is GCN, the Genesis Communications Radio Network. I've always believed in nutrition and herbs. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals sourced from powerful organic herbs harvested around the planet and then concentrated for maximum potency. I just received my Male Vitality about three days ago and I must say that is good stuff. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic Super Male Vitality 
winning formula. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. I jump out of bed ready to fight these criminals every day. I, I look forward to waking up and, and taking my Super Male Vitality and getting the day started. It's not just the Super Male Vitality. All the products at InfoWarsLife.com are simply amazing. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life. 